afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Colorado Rockies and the Cleveland Indians. It's interleague baseball on the show. And oh, that gets him on the mound. Great support from his infield, though, as that's the third out. Weird way to end the... So bases are empty here with two gone. And in next, it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman Nolan Arenado. First offering on its way. And there's the first hit of the game for Colorado. But now a throw from the outfield will get him. How slow can you be? So they go quietly here in this half inning. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. And we are tied nothing nothing. Coming to the plate now. Larry Doby. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. And that's the first out. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. A 1 1. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Center fielder going back. Still ranging back. A leap, but it's off his glove. And now over the wall. And this is going to be ruled a home run. So a three-run shot to right center field. And the Indians move in front now, three to nothing. Man, you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it, and he might tell you he should have had it. But he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of... And there are the final numbers for the Indian starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Rocks are on the board. It's now a 3-1 game. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Brad Hand comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Don't panic. They keep the game at a slow pace. And more importantly, they make good pit. And great extension as he drives on. this one high in the air and deep the other way. Gone to lead off the inning. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Scooped up. And the throw to first will take care of him as the tying run will be left stranded at second base. This ball game is over. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. The Tribe used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Bob Feller is the winning pitcher of record, so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasgers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Cleveland Indians and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's Dodger baseball on the show, and it comes your way next. One out away from stranding that runner on third, so the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Nice job there by the catcher to knock that one down. 
Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And the second run will score. It's now a 4-0 game. Dan, from a pitcher's standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches. You get two outs, and all of a sudden you give up that big base hit that drives in two. Frustrating for a pitcher. Oh, and he turns on this fastball and sends it out to deep left field. And I would say he got just about all of that one as this ball is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. And the Dodgers have cut this to a 4-2 score now. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Nick Whitgren takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Gone! Santa Maria! Game over! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. When you get into extra innings, you're always looking for that one guy to step up and be that hero. And this guy was the hero tonight. What does he do? Steps up with a walk-off home run to end this thing in extras. game has its offensive stars and in this one he arguably shined the brightest he's our top player of the game well the numbers don't just jump out at you but his lone hit was a really important one and sometimes you just need to come through what it matters most to be the hero and he did just that One run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. Jimmy Nelson pitches well enough to get the W, so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.